In 1939, a Polish countess walked into the headquarters of the British Special Services to become not just the first, but also the longest serving female special agent for the British in the Second World War. I'm Claire Molly, and I've been writing the story of Christine, and what a story it is. Christine was working with the British Special Services in Budapest, but she quickly, of course, made contact with the Polish careers and resistance network men in Budapest as well. And one of these was this wonderful character called Andrzej Kowerski. And there's this wonderful story that one night he was retelling his stories of adventure, great anecdotes, to a crowd of admirers in a smoky basement of a Budapest bar. When, as he later wrote, the door opened and a girl walked in. Four o'clock in the morning, the preferred calling out for the Gestapo, there was a banging on the door. They knew what was going to happen, interrogation, probably quite brutal. And, uh, and he was very surprised because apparently, he said later, she thrived on danger and she looked as merry as if she was going to a cocktail party, like now the fun is going to begin. Yeah. Hi, Claire. Hi. Lovely to Hi. meet you. Your father, after the war, wrote this very lyrical account mm. of Christine. He met her when they were both agents working as couriers and travelling between Budapest and uh, Poland. And apparently the guards spoke to her and she said, oh, oh, my diamonds. Of course, they weren't diamonds. And as they leant forward to grab the necklace, she pulled it so that the string broke and the diamonds fell down into the grass. And she took the opportunity to go, run. As many of these women were trained to be radio operators, to make contact through code back to Britain or wherever they were being supported, um, they were told they could expect to be uh, tracked down by the German um, tracker buses, uh, caught, interrogated and possibly killed within six weeks. And they still volunteered with that knowledge. Absolutely wonderful mm -hmm. that we have Christine's war medals here at the museum. She was awarded the George Medal, mm -hmm. the OBE, and this is the French Croix de Guerre with one star. Um, and of course, at the bottom, this whole range of ribbons. These are all the medals for the different theatres mm -hmm. of war in which she fought. She loved freedom and adventure, adrenaline and excitement. She loved men. She had two husbands and many lovers. Um, and she loved life in it, its fullest sense. And above all, she loved freedom and independence. Freedom for her country and freedom for herself. 